Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to extract a particular color from image in real using track bars. As you can see, if I move this track bars or if I adjust this track bars, the output changes in real time on the image. So it generates the output accordingly. So if I want to let's say extract a blue color, so I need to adjust some values and it will change the output in real time. So let's get started. So we will first create a new file for our project. So right click over here, then go to new and create a Python file and give a uh, let's say I'll give name color detection and enter. And the we will be needing two libraries over here. So one would be OpenCV and one would be NumPy. So import CV2 and import numpy as NT. So for the ones who are new to here, I'll show you how to install a library. You need to go in files, click on settings, then go to project interpreter over here. Click on this first type. To install OpenCV library, write OpenCV hyphen Python. Click over here and install package and for numpy write numpy. So click over here and install your package. Okay. So okay. So what first we'll first do is we'll load our image. Okay. So to load an image, let's say I'm creating a variable name image is equals to cv2 dot I am read. This function will help us to read the image. So I have one image in my laptop with name Ninja. So I'll type that name Ninja.jpg. So uh, those who don't know what, 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 what I'm doing over here is they can refer to my previous video. I'll put up a link inside the, uh, in the description. So to load an image at cv2 dot I am show. Uh, the output window name, I'll give it an output only and the variable cv2 dot weight e0. So I'll execute this code and I'll check if it's perfectly running or not and then we'll move further. Okay. So as you can see, we have our input image. Okay. So now we will program this to extract the colors from the image in real time. So for that, first we'll be needing some track bars. Okay. So we'll see how to create a track bar. So first we'll give a name to a track bar like this output is the name to the output window. We'll give a name to a track bar. So write cv2 dot named window. Let's say I'm giving the name track bars only over here. Okay. Now we need to, if we want to specify the size of the track bar, you can specify as cv2 dot resize window. Okay, so inside the window, type the name which you want to resize. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste over here. And let's say I'm keeping width as 600 and height as 250. Okay, so now we need to create the track bus. So uh, image has basically three values U, I'll type over here U, saturation, and value. So we will be needing six track bars for each. U minimum, U maximum, saturation minimum, saturation maximum, value minimum, and value maximum. So how to create track bars? Just write simply cv2 dot create track bar. So first, it, first it will ask the track bar name. So the first track bar I want is U M means max. Okay, I'll give it as U max okay you maximum write the track bar name so the track bar window name is over your track bar so i will just copy this name and paste over here now you has values from 0 to 180 okay so what i need to do is i will write over your 0 comma 180 okay so what is this 0 and 180? See, the 180 is the total value and 0 will be the slide bar which you will slide. Okay, so initially I want that slide bar on position 0. Okay, 
So that's why I have written 0 over here and it can go up to 180. So now the final parameter is we need something like called on change. So what we'll do is we'll create a function def uh, let's say nothing x comma I'll simply just pass this okay. So and I'll write over here nothing. It doesn't mean anything. We just need to pass a parameter okay. So see, like we have created track bar for u max. Similarly, we'll create a track bar for u minimum. So write cv2 dot create track bar code now. I want for u minimum, comma, the track bar name that is track bars now value. So this track bar had value from zero means it will start from zero. I need u max to, okay, I, I think I need to interchange this. So this would be u minimum and this would be u minimum max, sorry. Okay. So I want this position of track bars from 180. So 180 till 180, comma, nothing. What does this values means? I'll show you where, uh, when we will come to the output part. Okay, so no need to worry. Now I have created two track bars for you. Similarly, I need more two track bars for saturation and value. So let's create those track bars. So cv2 dot create track bar. Sorry, yeah, create track bar. So I need now saturation minimum, comma the track bar name, comma. So u has value from zero to one eighty. Saturation has value from 0 to 255 and I'll pass the function nothing. Similarly, I'll create a track bar for saturation max, comma, window name that is my track bar 255, comma, 255, comma, nothing. Okay, so now remaining is the value, so see we to dot create track bar I'll write as VAL value minimum comma the track bar window name comma it also starts from 0 and goes till to 55 comma nothing the final would be cv2 dot create track bar for value max comma the track bar window name it goes to 255 comma 255 comma nothing so let's execute this code and we'll check uh, if some if it's displaying something or not okay so as you can see this is my track bar so first is u minimum it starts from zero so our track bar is at zero and it will go till 180 over here similarly for u max it will start from 180 that is over here and it will go up till zero okay and similarly for saturation minimum it starts from zero and it will go up to 255 okay and this maximum it starts from 255 and go up till zero and same for value and max so if we see it is not displaying any outputs since i am moving it then to so what we need to do is we need to get those values so for that what we'll do is we'll create a while loop okay while it is true I'll take this inside uh, the while loop okay fine okay so now I need to get all these values and I need to show it in a variable so we have six track bars so we need six variables so I'll first I'll take it as h minimum okay h minimum is equals to now to uh, take the values there's a function called as cv2 dot get track bar position okay so you will call two parameters inside this one is which track bar do you want so I want u minimum so type the exact name H U E M I N. If H is capital, it should be capital over here. Otherwise, it will not give us the output. And the window name means this track bar window name which I want. So track bar. It should be in quotes. You can type single quote or double quote. Uh, anyone is fine. Okay. Okay. Similarly, I'll create for H max equals to cv2 dot get track bar position H U E M A X max comma track pass 
then set s minimum pv2 dot get track bar position s a t m i n and then i write track pass similarly for s max is equals to pv2 dot get track bar position s a t max comma trac i have just paste it okay so i need to create more two track pass uh, i mean i need to get two more values for v minimum and v maximum so v minimum is equals to cv2 dot get track pass write the track bar name that is fvl bell minimum comma window name so i just copy this last one and i'll paste it and i just need to change v max and well max so now what we'll try is we'll print these values and we'll see key if we get some output or not so i am typing print over here so uh, h minimum which is this variable over here okay so we'll call out each and every value so h minimum comma h maximum comma s minimum comma s maximum comma v minimum comma v maximum okay so now we'll see ki if this track bus is giving us some reading or not so right click execute okay so as you can see it is displaying right now 0 180 0 255 0 and 255 if i change this it is not changing so where is the mistake i guess uh there is some mistake okay so if i change this values you can see okay that the track bus value is also changing okay so i guess now we have all the outputs so now what we can do is over here okay the reason we were not getting output initially the delay was zero we'll pass it over here once since it is in my loop so now we'll again execute this code and okay so it is displaying continuously right so if i change the u minimum it is 94 94 if i change this set maximum 90 90 so now we are getting this value so we are good to go now okay so the next step would be now we have uh, imported one more library called import numpy as np so numpy is nothing but it will, you, it will help us to make matrix okay so now we'll create two matrix one for lower values and one for upper values so i'll create one variable name lower equals to np dot array okay so in this i want all the minimum values h minimum s minimum and v minimum so what i'll do is i'll create an array of h minimum s minimum and v minimum similarly i create an array for upper values so np dot array uh, the values would be h maximum s maximum and v maximum perfect so now the next part is we need to create a mask using this uh two values that is lower and upper why we are why we will need the mask uh, i'll tell you when i'll show you the output so we'll create a uh, mask using a variable mask equals to so to create a mask what you will do is you will write cv2 dot in range so first you need to pass the image then the lower value then the upper value We'll display this mask and we'll see what output we are getting. CV2 dot I am show. Uh, I am giving name as mask. Sorry, mask comma the variable name mask. Let's execute this code. Okay, so this is our mask. So now why we have uh, taken this mask is because we'll perform an operation on both of these images. So if I want to extract a blue color 
from this input image in the mask i will be needing only the area which is blue i it means uh, whichever the area is white that color would be extracted from this image okay since if i want blue color so whichever area is covering the blue color that should be white other all color should be black so i can extract that image basically so we have now we have created a mask so how to extract that particular color so for that what we need to do is we will use an end operation okay so i am creating a variable name uh, final result okay is equals to cv2 dot bit wise so there are four types of operation bitwise or and not an x or we will be using and so first we need to pass one input image sorry the input image name is image again we need to pass the input image and then we need to pass the mask is equals to the mask which we have over here, it is mask. So I'll uh, display this image first and I'll show you key how does it work. Uh, I'll write as final output. Final output. And I'll uh, display the, okay, I'll call the variable now. Okay, so as you can see, we have now three different output over here. This is my final result. This is my input image, and this is my masking image. So the idea over here is, I need if I need a blue color from this input image, the portion which is covering blue color should be white. So what I need to do is, I need to uh, adjust these values till I get the blue color or till I till all the uh, portion are black and only blue color is white so what I'll do is see when I adjust these values there's no difference over here in U minimum okay so for blue color we need to adjust this uh, uh, saturation maximum so if I adjust this you'll see the yellow and skin color is fading look over here also it is getting black so the color has been extracted from here okay so only the white color should remain so i'll adjust it more 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 okay so if i bring it more down then the blue is also disappearing i'll leave it over here so there is some sort of uh, noise over here i need to remove that so adjust some values accordingly uh, this is not a good idea we'll adjust 12 well minimum okay no Okay, this is also, okay, so I think, perfect. So as you can see, we are getting more clear picture of our output, okay. Okay, so there are still some disturbance, but I think it's fine. I'll try and adjust more. Okay, so I think this is perfect. So, as you can see, this is my input image. The blue portion which is covering the blue area, it is white over here. So it is performing end operation between this and this. It says that whichever pixel is white, that is one, it will show only that color over here. Okay. So let's say if I want this red color, so what I'll do, I'll uh, reset this again. Okay. Uh, I guess it would be over here. Okay. And this over here. So if I want a red color, so for red color, what I need to do is I need to adjust value minimum. So okay, so blue color is gone. Now I'll adjust this. So different colors are different values, so you need to adjust accordingly. So as you can see, I have red color as an output. So this is how you can detect or extract the colors in real time using track bars. One process is what you can do, you can directly put the values inside this array. But that takes a lot of time, it, it's a trial and error. So instead of that you can create a track bus and you can change the values as you want. Okay, so this was 